as a, I mean, you've probably talked to hundreds of users slash customers of metal powder bed fusion mm -hmm. technology. Um, what are the, what are things people are looking for like that? Like what are the, some of the gaps in the market that I think the industry has, has still needs to improve on? I mean, we've seen over the last, I mean, certainly three years, bigger and bigger machines, um, I would still argue openness other than open additive is still a question for a lot of companies and just mm -hmm. like how that all mixes. But like, I mean, you've had all these conversations, like what are some, a couple of takeaways that you see in terms of the, where the market is today of, of what they're looking for? Well, I think, um, it's interesting. I think the OEMs knew or knew and know a lot, uh, that the industry didn't know and is starting to catch on to, <laughs> So, uh, but, um, so there's, there's little things like, like, you know, how you do the gas flow setup or how you do your thermal management to make sure your optics aren't shifting or your parts not shifting, uh, that have always been problems for a lot of different OEMs. Right. And you, you hear about that. Some OEMs, I'm not going to name names, but like some OEMs have horrible gas flow reputations. Some don't. Even the ones that don't typically have problem areas. So, like, how to do that right? How to bring the air straight across, and not cause eddies and stuff that 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 result in a uh, you know problems and parts if you build them in that area. Uh, I feel like uh, I feel like the industry. I, mean, I don't know if it's because it's like a cost of entry thing, but I feel like industry is quite a bit ahead of academia uh, on those areas whereas in some other fields it's completely the opposite like i think and if that's true um so there's there's probably people are starting to learn that are just engineering challenges like so i, I said that i think the current uh, open added machine is really excellent one of the reasons it's really excellent is because we know all that stuff and we redesigned the whole machine from the ground up in 2022 uh and say like, okay let's design the gas flow so the air comes straight in. It has no side forces. And it's not going to like curl off and go one direction. It's going to come straight across. <laughs> and we're going to put its flow conditioners in the path that we can change in case it's wrong. We can, you know, we can adjust it and make it just right. Um, so there's little engineering things like, and also like how to do your thermal management, how to make sure your your temperature in the process chamber is consistent all the time. Uh, those are not something everybody's always thought about. So I've I've got. Uh, a couple of machines I own that aren't open added machines. Uh, and they were in last summer, they were in a building. I'm not going to say brands because I don't want to do that to people, but they were in a building uh, that was like 90 degrees in the summertime. And it's probably, probably shouldn't be printing parts in a building like that. Right. But like the, the AC was broken. The AC is fixed now, but uh, one machine had really good thermal management. The other didn't. And so during the daytime, one machine would experience a lot of thermal shifts and there wouldn't. So we print tensile bars and, and when one machine, they're wavy and the other machine, they're nice and straight. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of, so a lot of it's just a little engineering stuff that, that not everybody's always done. Um, but then there's, uh, uh, sensing has always been a challenge. I feel like Institute sensing, most of the market has been just copycat, you know, at some point, someone decided to put a photodiode in the laser beam line, and then everybody else did it. And then nobody knows if it's useful, why it's useful, or if they should do it, but they still offer it. Uh, that might be harsh. I don't know, but I think that's generally true. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you can see a few new things coming out now, but but typically not very many. That That's always been a big complaint. So most of my initial contracts were figuring out what kind of institute sensing you can and should do and then how to do it, right? How to actually commercialize it and implement it. Be sure to check out our website, www.3degreescompany.com for more content.